A total of 1,259 residents from the six Gulf Cooperation Council or GCC countries have applied to join the ambitious Mars One Astronaut Program selection program which aims to establish the first human settlement on planet Mars by the year 2023. Applicants came from over 140 countries, with the largest from the United States with 47,654 applicants, followed by India with 20,747. Sarah Glub has more in this report. With over 202,586 applications received worldwide, a total of 1,259 residents from the Gulf region are seeking to be among the first to obtain a one-way ticket to live on the Red Planet, with 477 from Saudi Arabia, 421 from Bahrain, 142 from Kuwait, 122 from Qatar, 52 from the UAE and 45 from Oman. That shows one thing, show that the youth are motivated by science. So we keep bringing to the youth uh, video clips of singers, movies, entertainment, and we think that they're not interested in science, and this is wrong. The youth are interested in science. If you bring to them knowledge, they'll be interested in knowledge. If, but if you bring to them only entertainment, you're wasting their time, you're wasting their potential, and then you should not complain about them not being an active part of that society. The program was launched in April 2013 by Stitching Mars One, a Dutch non-profit foundation. And all the applicants will appear before the Mars One Selection Committee, which will select prospective Martian settlers in three additional rounds spread across two years. The initial process is expected to take several months. Any Gulf-based candidates selected to pass the next round will be notified by the end of this year. The second round of selections will start in early 2014, where the candidates will be interviewed in person by the Mars One Selection Committee. If the youth does not have a dream, a national dream for science, then they will, leave, they will live in the nightmare of entertainment. So a national project, a national science project for every nation is the dream that empower young people. By 2015, six to ten teams of four individuals will be selected for seven years of full-time training. In 2023, one of these teams will become the first humans ever to land on Mars and live there for the rest of their lives. Ever dreamed of living on another planet? Well, 142 Kuwaitis out of over 200,000 people from across the world have applied to live on Mars. Do you call them crazy or idealists? Whatever the case, in the end, only four lucky Earthlings will be approved to colonize the Red Planet. This is Sarah Gleb reporting for English News.